Hello, I'm Robert Laganier from the OpenCV cookbook and in this video I will show you how to install and use OpenCV with uh, Microsoft Visual C++. The first thing to do is to download OpenCV from the OpenCV website. Uh, you simply uh, download OpenCV for Windows. We select the latest version which is 2.4.10 in this case. Once, once OpenCV downloaded, you simply open the installer. So you have to select where you want to extract the OpenCV files. Um, for now, you can simply uh, use the default uh, download directory and after that you can um, move it uh, wherever you want. Let's do that. Okay, you now have OpenCV uh, on your drive. So the next thing to do is to uh, rename the, uh, this directory um, such that you can track the, uh, the, the current version that you have installed. In our case, it's 2.4.10. Uh, oh, and should probably move um, this uh, directory to a, a better location, directly to your C drive, for example. So as you can see, I had previously the version uh, 4.9 and uh, I've now installed the version uh, 4.10. Uh, in directories, one for the source, because it's an open source uh, library. And the second one is the build directory that contains the uh, compiled version of the, uh, uh, of the uh, library for various uh, platforms. Uh, in our case, we are uh, mainly interested by uh, the version for uh, Visual C++. So you have it for 64-bit uh, machine or for 32-bit machines. Um, so if I uh, look into this directory, I see the different version of Open uh, of Visual C++ that are available. And inside this directory, I have all the uh, the bin file, mainly the DLL uh, files that I I need to uh, use to run my OpenCV application, the uh, lib file also uh, when I uh, compile my applications. Um, next thing you will need is obviously uh, it's a C++ uh, library, so you need the uh, include file for your uh, uh, to build your application. Now, uh, in order to be able to run uh, the uh, application that, that I will create from anywhere, the next thing I need to do is uh, to uh, set up the, uh, the path variable. I simply go to uh, System, Advanced Settings, uh, the uh, Environment Variables, and I'm interested by uh, the uh, path variable that I will edit, and I will add the and I will add the uh, bin directory of OpenCV in the list. So let's use the uh, 30-bit, 32-bit version for for the moment. So the, uh, these are all the DLL files that I, I copy this directory to here. Forgot the semicolon and we're good. And next thing is uh, to next step is to launch Visual Studio. So 
So I'm now ready to uh, write my first OpenCV application. So I will create a new project. Uh, to keep things as simple as possible, we will create a simple uh, uh, Win32 application. Um, let's call this application first OpenCV. So usually when I create my C++ application with Visual C++, I remove the pre-compile uh, option. And that's it. And you're now ready to create your first OpenCV application. Okay, we will now replace this uh, Visual C++ uh, program by a more standard uh, C++ uh, main application. Okay, let's now run this uh, simple program to make sure everything is working fine. First, there's a small mistake here. So we can run it, compile it and run it. Okay, everything is working fine. So uh, we can uh, now uh, complete the setup for uh, running an OpenCV application. You are now ready to create and compile your first OpenCV application. In order to do that, you have to specify to Visual C++ where to find the uh, OpenCV components. You can do that by going to your project uh, properties and uh, set up three things. So you have to specify to OpenCV uh, where to find the uh, include directories of OpenCV, where to find the library directories of OpenCV, and then you will have to specify which library component you want to use uh, as uh, when you uh, link your application. But there is a better way to do that. What you can do is to use uh, what, a, what a Visual C++ call uh, property sheets. You can go to uh, your view and select the property manager. Now, uh, not that if you don't have under your view menu, you don't have a property manager option, then you should go to tools and customize and add this command to your view menu. So once you have your uh, property manager, uh, you will see that you have basically two, co two possible configuration by default, the debug and the release. So we will start by the debug and if you want to uh, also uh, specify the option for the release so you will have to repeat exactly the, the same process. Uh, so this is for a 32-bit uh, configuration. You can al also add a 64-bit um, configuration by going to your uh, configuration manager and add a new configuration and select a 64-bit option. And then again, it would be a matter of repeating exactly the same uh, steps. Now, let's do that for the debug 32 bit. Uh, what you need to do is to add a new property uh, sheet. And since you want to reuse that sheet, you should um, save that sheet uh, at a, an appropriate location. In our case, uh, we will uh, simply uh, save it under the uh, Visual Studio project directory. Uh, let's call that property sheet uh, with an appropriate name, which will be uh, OpenCV and um, 2410 uh, for the version number. And we'll add a D for uh, debug. Now we can edit that sheet. Let's uh, first specify the include directory for OpenCV. 
So we put everything on the C. And this is my include. And we repeat uh, the same process for uh, the library directory. Now uh, you have uh, to make sure that you specify the 32-bit uh, 30, directory. And this is the library directory. And then you have to specify the, uh, uh, the library components that you will use. So let's add, uh, let's have a look at the uh, library available. So uh, you should certainly have uh, the iGUI um, library uh, added. Not that we use the, the one that ends with a, a D uh, for debug, since we are uh, specifying the debug uh, configuration. And you will also certainly need the uh, core library Like this, I should add the extension. And um, as you build more complex application, you will obviously need to add new uh, library uh, files. Okay, so uh, now we have our generic uh, OpenCV property sheet. Uh, in the future, when you create a new application, you should simply uh, add an existing property sheet and select that uh, OpenCV uh, sheet that we just uh, create. I have now replaced the previous main function by this new main that tests the, uh, the OpenCV uh, setup. Um, so all I do here is to create an image um, I read that image, create a window to display the image on, and display the window. Uh, the the wait key command will simply pause the, the program at this point. Uh, this will uh, work well at the condition that the puppy the puppy dot bmp file can be found at the uh, uh, project uh, directory location. Now you run it. You now terminate the, uh, the program by just uh, clicking on any key. And since everything went well, so you have successfully created your first OpenCV application and you are now ready to read the rest of the cookbook and learn more about the different uh, functions and classes of OpenCV. Good luck.